Snacks. What's going on, Loaded Snacks Universe? Your boy Jokes is here, and it's time for another edition of Wrestle Wednesday. This week, a couple of topics on the docket, pretty much all surrounding All Elite Wrestling. Starting with the big one, it is official. Kenny Omega has signed with All Elite Wrestling. Now let's be real for a little bit. I'm pretty sure we all kind of saw that coming. Now, the biggest news about him signing with AEW, of course he's going to be an in-ring competitor. But he also has another title. Executive Vice President. I'm going to say that again. Executive Vice President. Yes, my man is large and in charge when it comes time for all elite wrestling. Now, during the announcement, a few little tidbits that he kind of threw out there about his contract. Now, he is going to be with them for four years, which pretty decent amount of time. But he does have one nice little clause in his contract that he wanted to make sure that was in there. And that's the fact that he is able to actually go to New Japan Pro Wrestling and compete if he so decides. So it looks like the end of Kenny Omega in New Japan, mm, it's far from over. So we may not see him on a regular basis, but we may see him start to show up from time to time and do his thing over in New Japan. Now while he was making his announcement during the conference, Chris Jericho decided to interrupt him. Comes from the back, comes up to the stage, gets in Omega's face. They had a little, little fight, little brawl if you want to call it. So because of that, we now have another match confirmed for Double or Nothing between Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho. Well, let me say Kenny Omega versus Chris Jericho 2 because they did compete in New Japan. Now, while we're on the topic of Double or Nothing, tickets went on sale for Double or Nothing. They sold out in four minutes. Now, granted, there was a pre-sale two days before the actual tickets went on sale to the public, but yes, sold out in four minutes. The real interesting piece, the Young Bucks actually took to Twitter and they kind of gave a little synopsis of where all of the tickets were purchased. Now, if you're not familiar, Double or Nothing is going to be in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand. Now, one, tickets were purchased from all 50 states in the U.S., including Washington, D.C., and also Puerto Rico. But on top of that, there were a ton of international tickets purchased. The biggest one from the UK. So it's looking like Double or Nothing is going to have a vast, vast amount of people from all ends of the planet in attendance for this historic moment. So, I don't know if you guys were lucky. I was one of the lucky few and I actually snagged tickets for Double or Nothing. So, I got a big trip that's coming up in May and I'm really 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 looking forward to it now if you guys want to keep up because when it when I go there I'm gonna of course record take some pictures I want you guys to be able to continue on that journey with me so do me a favor like share and subscribe to the loading snacks channel so as we upload new content you guys will be the first to know and also check us out on patreon patreon.com forward slash loading snacks because there is going to be some goodies that are going to go on there that everyone else won't get to see. But until then, that's been Wrestle Wednesday, and I'll catch you later.